David Cameron has made a surprising comeback to UK politics. The former Prime Minister has now been appointed the Foreign Secretary of the country. And this very unusual decision comes after British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak carried out a major cabinet reshuffle. The newly appointed Foreign Secretary met his Indian counterpart Dr. S.J. Shankar who is currently on a UK visit. Both leaders discussed the situation in West Asia as well as Ukraine. While they also held detailed discussions on realizing the full potential of India-UK strategic partnership. Cameron also spoke to US Secretary of State Antony Blinken and discussed the Israel-Hamas war. Both leaders talked about relations with China and help for Ukraine during a telephonic conversation on Monday. Speaking at an event on Monday night, Sunak welcomed Cameron in a speech and said that his appointment comes in deeply challenging times. He said that Cameron will build on the UK's past achievements in foreign policy. And so we've delivered one of the most significant years for British foreign policy in recent times. That's due in no small part to James Cleverly, and I know that he'll bring the same vigour to the equally vital job of Home Secretary. And I'm pleased to have appointed a new Foreign Secretary who will build on everything that we have achieved in the last year. Now Cameron's return comes in a cabinet reshuffle which was triggered by the firing of Suella Breverman as the country's Home Secretary. She's been sacked from the role after a criticism of police for their favourable treatment of pro-Palestine protesters. James Cleverly, who was still now serving as the Foreign Secretary, has now replaced Breverman and now Cameron fills Cleverly's position. Cameron's appointment as Foreign Secretary comes as a surprise. A former Prime Minister accepting a portfolio in the Cabinet goes against convention. While accepting his new role, Cameron took to social media and said that though he may have disagreed with Sunak on some decisions, he is a strong and capable Prime Minister. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.